I'll go ahead and start with one I used to do myself, green salamanders. Unfortunately, there it really isn't much I could say about them. Very straightforward, I managed to split the hour into two 30 minute sessions. So let's go ahead and check the loot. We managed to obtain 408 salamanders, which gave us 2.2 mil at 5.4k each in the price checker. But unfortunately, they didn't sell for that much. They sold for a little over 4.3k each. But was this a good method? Let's consider the cost. Adding up the porter charges and the arctic bear pouches, which gave us a little under 200k. And all of them sold for a mil.7. As you can see, this gave us 1.5 mil profit. It's honestly a little more than I was expecting. And the entry point's just 2900. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that as at 2900, you could only set one trap, but it is easy to get into. Now, before we start, I need to highlight if you have the Mauritania legs three or four, then you don't need the ghost peak amulet. But regardless, if you have the legs two, three or four, you will have to wear them during the process of the cannonballs to make them faster. So I went ahead and bought 5k steel bars, clearly with no idea how much I could process per hour, but I just went bought that and went to town with it. Now the process was AFK as hell, but the smithing XP was very dreadful. But regardless, let's check out the loot. With 5.7k cannonballs at 403 each, hopefully we could sell it for a nice profit. Let's check the numbers. So first let's look at the cost of the materials. I processed 1,444 steel bars, each of them being 709 GP each, which was a, a little over a mil, which gave us 5.7k cannonballs, which sold at 382 each, which sold in the grand total of 2.2 mil. That's a 1.1 mil GP profit, or 819 GP per steel bar. Now this one's kind of interesting because 1.1 mil, really, that's not good at all. But I have mixed feelings about it. I feel if the smithing XP was better, I'd, it'd feel a little more justified. And I only ended up getting a little over 35k smithing XP, which it really is not great at all. Now for one method that's very close to my heart, rock tails. You can tell by my cape in my bank, I love fishing. Though I haven't actually fished rock tails in such a long time. With variables such as shark outfit and hone 5 fishing rod at level 20, a juju perfect potion, ports, supreme aura and granite lobsters, I'm expecting this to be not so bad. But let's go ahead and check the loot from one hour. we get 559k in the price checker. The cost of the entire process was very cheap. The Juju Potion, Super Restore, Granite Lobster, Living Minerals and whatnot was a little over 16k GP. With that in mind, we received 576k profit. Now prepare yourself, this one's quite the number. I recall back roughly 2006, 2007 and picking up some snake grass with a friend of mine on Wetterberth Island for money. And all you really have to do was the Lunar Diplomacy quest for the teleports. Now I don't remember if the money was good or not, but it was easy to do. With area loot, fishing hub teleport and the same lunar teleport, this should be okay. Although I didn't bother with porters, because the teleport from and to the Waterbirth Island was very quick. Let's go ahead and check the loot from half an hour. Would you look at that? Look out world, <laughs> big money being made here. But do they sell for that much? Ooh. 
But wait, let's subtract the cost of the teleport and the pack yak. Now we get a whopping 14.9k profit or almost 30k GP per hour. Now for this next method, I actually found it on an old forum post from January 2012 and it talks about the bones to bananas. So I went ahead and I bought some arbitrary amount of bones and nature runes with an elemental staff I already had. The mud staff works equally. I made a quick preset and proceeded with 20 minutes of testing. Now you're probably wondering, why 20 minutes? You know, more time, more data? Well, I was exhausting the resources a lot faster than I was expecting. Also 20 minutes would make the math a lot easier, so let's just go ahead and use this. Now the magic XP was pretty abysmal at 7.2k or 21k per hour, but clearly that's not too important. Let's look at the cost of the materials. I spent about 1.4 mil on the bones, about 143k on nature runes, and of course the water and earth spells are free if you have at least a mud staff. The banana sold for 2.4 mil, so if we go ahead and just subtract the cost, we have 845k profit. Now remember, 845k, this is from 20 minutes, so if you have all the materials ready, you could actually make 2.5 mil GP profit an hour. Now clearly, for such a low level, all you need is 15 magic, this is pretty good. But it does come at the cost of it being kind of click intensive. But hey, if you ask me, I feel like that's how it should be. The more effort you put into it, the more money.